In today's video, we're gonna talk about my next silver pickup, my next gold pickup, and which of the two precious metals I think is a better deal at the moment. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver currently sitting in the $27 an ounce range and what my next precious metal pickup is going to be. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. And by the way, I'm excited to announce limited edition merch drop until St. Patrick's Day. You can get the luck has nothing to do with it, t-shirt or hoodie only available in the color green. It's limited edition. I do this every single year until St. Patrick's Day to help raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Baldrick's Foundation, which is working to help children with cancer. Link in the description. You only have until St. Patrick's Day. And also, fun fact, today's actually the five-year anniversary since the very first video on this channel. Five years in a row without taking a day off, every single day posting new videos for 1,828 consecutive days. I have no idea how I did it, but hard work is paying off. And that's actually what inspired the quote that I put on the merchandise. Luck has nothing to do with it. Thanks for rocking with the channel. Now today I wanted to talk about silver. I also wanted to talk a little bit about gold as well because the spot price of silver seems to be a little bit in the green today while the spot price of gold seems to be in the red. As I'm recording the video, the spot price of silver is $27.85, I believe it is. I'll put a picture up on screen. And the spot price of gold is pretty much $1,800 even. So gold is a little bit down. And actually, over the last couple of days, we've actually seen gold in the high 1700s. So it's been $1,785, $1,790 within that range. So it's a little bit up from where it was, but it's actually still down because for really for the last couple of months, we've actually been looking at $1,850, $1,860, $1,870. $1, so gold is down. And I think it's a pretty good time to maybe pick up some gold, which is why I've been picking up gold every single month for the last couple of months. But when it comes to silver, there's not a whole lot we could do about the spot price. And unfortunately, spot price is only part of the issue because the premiums are a completely different story. But as I always say, support your local coin shop. There's probably a much better chance of you finding a really good deal or finding silver closer to spot at your local coin shop, a physical storefront, as opposed to an online website where you can get silver and gold and pretty much all different selections, all different coins, rounds, and bars. If you go with a smaller coin shop, odds are it's probably going to be a smaller selection, but probably better deals, which is why I plan on going to my local coin shop on Friday. And I'm pretty excited about this, and this is something that I've been wanting to do. I haven't been able to get to the coin shop for the last couple of weeks, and the reason for that is because here in New Jersey, the tri-state area, we've been getting some massive, massive snowstorms, and I'm personally not willing to take the chance just to get some silver. So now that it's warmer, now that it's sunnier, now that the only bad weather we're supposed to get over the next couple of days is just probably a bunch of rain, no snow, I'm going to be making my way over to the coin shop, and I'm pretty excited about that because... In yesterday's video, for those of you who saw it, I was talking about and reviewing my very first piece of silver ever. It was this right here. And what's funny about that video is I was able to dig up some old video footage from my very first silver video ever from December of 2017. I included it in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, you should probably go give it a watch. But in that video, I was actually filming inside of my local coin shop and I was showing a little bit of their selection. And I plan on going back to that very coin shop over the next few days. And this is what I plan on getting. Hey, really quick, I interrupt this video to let you know I am gonna be going live in the VIP club tonight around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk about stacking, to talk about prepping, to talk about a bunch of different topics. And I'm also doing a giveaway over there that ends on March First, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is join the VIP club before March 1st. You automatically get entered and have a chance to win. Link in the description if you want to join. A little bit of 90% junk constitutional silver. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It doesn't have to be 
anything super special. It doesn't have to be anything wild and no high premium stuff, no numismatics. I'm not talking about the peace dollars or the Morgan dollars or anything like that. I'm going to be going after probably, realistically speaking, probably a bunch of Washington quarters. But over here, I do have some Mercury dimes, some Roosevelt dimes, and that's it in this little pile. And that's pretty much what I plan on getting. And obviously, I got some more 90% in the back over here, some half dollars, some more dimes underneath over here, some dimes up here, some quarters and whatnot. I've grown to be such a big fan of the 90% constitutional junk silver, whatever it is that you want to call it. And at first, I've explained this story a bunch of times, so I'm not going to get too far into it, but I was never really that big of a fan of 90%, especially when I first got started stacking. It didn't really do anything for me, it didn't get me feeling excited or enthusiastic about the silver, but then when I started to implement some 90%, when I started to integrate the junk silver to the stack just for diversification purposes, I started to understand its importance and how it can break a troyance if I need to or if I want to or make change for a larger denomination piece of silver. So that's why I started to appreciate and respect the 90% silver. And it wasn't until 2020 where most of the other options were cut off. And I don't want to say they were cut off entirely because that's not the truth. 2020, when everything came crashing down and we saw the premiums go through the roof, what we saw was low premiums on 90%, high premiums on almost everything else. And as the year went by, the premiums on 90% started to really climb as well. But before that started to happen, I remember I shifted my focus almost entirely and I spent probably three or four months of stacking absolutely nothing but 90% junk constitutional silver. I got so many silver dimes for the most part. I got quarters as well. Actually, I don't think I got any half dollars last year. But I got plenty of Washington quarters, I got some Standing Liberty quarters, some Roosevelt dimes, some Mercury dimes and whatnot. And that's probably what I'm going to be sticking to for the time being. Because even though on all of these online precious metal dealing websites, the premiums are astronomically high. And I don't want to keep talking about the premiums because that's all anybody wants to talk about. Premium, premium, premium. We get it. But... There's not a whole lot we could do about that, but if we can break down the premiums or lower them by shopping at the local coin shop and simultaneously supporting a small business, I think that's a win-win for everybody. And even though the premiums are significantly higher on, let's just say, the Silver Eagle and potentially other coins out there like the Maple Leaf or the Libertad or the Britannia, depending on who you're shopping with, the 90% silver is typically the cheapest way to go. So you can go with $1, $5, $10, whatever amount of dollars face value and obviously that's not how much it's worth only according to face value according to fiat it is according to the spot price of silver you're gonna have to do the math and figure it out to be exact because spot price is always fluctuating but a lot of people ask me what's a fair dollar amount to pay per face value so is 20 times face good is 30 times face good these are a lot of questions that I get asked in the comments section now in my opinion, I would really not like to convert more than $20 per face value, so 20 times face. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of options out there. Again, coin shops, you stand a far better chance of getting 90% junk constitutional silver closer to spot, so 20 times face. In my opinion, right now, according to the spot price, I think 20 times face is fair. And it sickens me to say, because I remember just a year ago, I was able to get 12 times face or 13 times face or something like that. But here we are. Silver has obviously made some pretty big moves over the last 11 and a half months or so. So unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do about the spot price. There usually is something we can do about the premiums. It really all depends on who you're shopping with, where you're getting your silver from, where you're getting your gold from. And by the way, speaking of gold, for those of you who didn't see the unboxing video that I posted just a couple of days ago, it was actually a screen recorded video clip of a VIP club live stream that I did last week. I will be going live again tonight. Do not forget, around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, link in the description. But in that unboxing video, I got me some new gold and I opened it up for the live stream. And here are just a couple of 
gold coins that I have. Maple Leafs, Eagles, Britannias, Philharmonics, Krugerrands. And as of last week, here's the latest edition. And I'm talking about this for a reason, by the way. The Kookaburra. The reason I'm bringing up gold is because the spot price of gold is technically in the red. Not only is spot price technically in the red, with gold being down, but premiums aren't nearly as brutal on gold as they are on silver right now. So if you were able to save up some cash to convert into the yellow metal rather than the white metal, there's nothing wrong with that. I've shifted my focus a little bit over the last couple of months just simply because I wanted to stay busy. I wanted to continue getting as much of the precious metals as humanly possible, but at the moment, in my opinion at least, gold's just a better deal right now just because from a percentage perspective, the premiums are significantly lower. Now, you might disagree with me on that, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't matter. You don't have to agree with me on that. Like I said, it's my opinion. We can have different opinions. Opinions never hurt anybody, but when it comes to opinions and from my perspective, again, not a financial advisor, nothing on my channel is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. But what my conclusion is, yes, I'm going to continue stacking the silver. I'm going to try to get as much of it as possible for the lowest possible dollar amount. But when I took a step back last year and evaluated how much gold I have in comparison to how much silver I have. And by the way, this is not nearly as much silver as I have or as much gold as I have. I have plenty more precious metals locked away. I just like to have a little bit of everything on screen when I film my videos. But I realized that in comparison, I was really weak on gold. I didn't have nearly enough gold for the amount of silver that I have. Not to say that I have all the silver in the world. I don't have all that much silver. I, I need plenty more silver. But... I was extremely weak on gold, and I decided, hey, you know what? If there's one thing 2020 taught me, because this is when I noticed this, by the way, that I was weak on gold. If there's one thing 2020 taught me, more specifically early on in 2020, March, April of 2020, when everything came crashing down, what I learned was to maintain your strengths, but also strengthen your weaknesses. And I had noticed that one of my weaknesses was gold. So why not strengthen an area where I'm weak? Same thing happened to a lot of people who realize that they probably should have had more of a food storage or a method of water purification or, or th these kind of preps or these kind of supplies. A lot of people woke up last year. A lot of people kind of got smacked in the face by reality and said, hey, get your stuff together. And that's what happened to me. When the premiums on silver really got cranked up, the premiums on gold went up a little bit as well, but again, from a percentage perspective, much lower on gold than on silver. So I shifted my focus a little bit. Number one, because I can get a better deal on gold at the moment, and two, I was weak on gold. I needed more of it. But over the last couple of months, I have been stacking more silver, mostly 90% silver, and I do plan on going back to the coin shop this week and i'm pretty excited about that and i want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on the spot price of the two metals right now which of the two do you think is potentially a better deal for you in your opinion and from your perspective which one do you think is a better place to be converting your dollars at the moment now i'm not asking you to take sides by the way if you think silver is a better deal over gold right now or vice versa it doesn't mean that you're hating on the other metal at the end of the day the overwhelming majority of us are trying to get as much of both metals as humanly possible but sometimes you got to play with the numbers sometimes you got to figure out which one is the best option for you at the moment my choice which one's best for me at the moment might be completely different for you so again nothing's financial advice in this video it's just a conversation so head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways. I have one going on right now and it ends on March 1st. So join the VIP Club before then to automatically get entered. Also doing discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free.
Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,800, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Do not forget, you only have until St. Patrick's Day to get yourself. The luck has nothing to do with it t-shirt or hoodie available only in the color green and it's helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Baldrick's which is helping children with cancer which I think is a beautiful thing. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated and I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know with the spot price of silver being a little bit up, spot price of gold being a little bit down, which of the two precious metals do you plan on picking up next? What is your next precious metal pickup going to be? I already explained in this video that my next precious metal pickup is going to be as much 90% silver as I can possibly get my hands on from my local coin shop, but that's just one of the two metals. The next gold coin I plan on getting, I'm not exactly sure yet, but probably going to be a tenth of an ounce gold panda, potentially, hopefully. That's what I'm going to try to get, but who knows? Head on down to the comments and let me know what is your next precious metal pickup going to be? Is it going to be exclusively gold? Is it going to be exclusively silver? Are you trying to get a little bit of both? Maybe you realize that you have a little bit of a precious metal weakness. Maybe you are incredibly weak on silver or incredibly weak on gold. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember... Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.